Jeez, it's hot out there. Well, do you know what? It's all very well. The last few days we've been having ice cream and it's been coming out of our ears. But do you know what? There are times where we fancy a really good, wicked chocolate dessert without having to put the oven on. But what about a nice chilled chocolate mousse? But what about a French chilled chocolate mousse? And what's so different about a French one? There's no cream in it. It's so light and airy and fluffy and mmm. We just need egg whites and some good quality chocolate. And are you ready to get cracking? In a heat proof bowl, break up your chocolate. That's 170 grams, six ounces. That's about a cup. Adding just a touch of unsweetened cocoa powder will just make it extra rich. Boil some water in a saucepan and then turn it down to simmering and then put your bowl on top. This is a bain-marie or double boiler and you're just heating up the chocolate to melt it, not cooking it. In a large clean bowl, place the whites kept aside from five eggs. Separate an egg, keeping the yolk for later and add the sixth white. Don't worry if your egg whites are not at room temperature, it's not that important for this particular recipe. We're putting the egg yolk aside simply because we're going to add it to the egg whites later. It's a very different recipe method. Using an electric hand whisk or stand mixer, start whipping up your egg whites very gently. And as soon as it starts to mousse up, then add your sugar. It's about 30 grams, two tablespoons, that's it. Trust me, you don't want any more than this. Otherwise, too much sugar will make your chocolate mousse go grainy and even worse, you don't want it masking the flavor of your rich chocolate. It's just enough to give it a beautifully strong meringue. As soon as the chocolate starts to melt, keep it on top of the pan, but take it off the heat. Then you're going to add your egg yolk and a good pinch of fleur de sel. And when your chocolate is beautifully smooth, you're ready to add your egg whites into the chocolate mix. And this is where the fun starts. I hate to tell you, but you're going to be mixing a lot by hand at this point, folding and folding and folding in the same direction. This is the secret to the light and airy, wonderful mousse that you're going to make. Use a good sturdy yet flexible spatula or Marie's. As soon as each spatula of egg whites are gently incorporated, add more egg whites and continue like this until your whites are finished. Fold, mix, fold, mix, fold, mix. Et voila, that's really looking like chocolate mousse now, isn't it? Well, while I'm still folding, let me play you a bit of flute. You could just put this whole bowl in the fridge and chill it for a couple of hours and then spoon it out into bowls like this. Or you could be a little bit on the posh side, you know, and for a dinner party, you can serve them directly into your dishes, top with some fresh fruit of your choice or a sprig of mint, you know, and chill it. And after just two hours in the fridge, you have this voluptuous dark, intensely rich chocolate mousse from France, you can. <laughs>